guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Cami Ewald. Today we're gonna to talk about water slides. Hypo Water Slide Company reached out to me and asked if I would do a review of their product on my channel. So I'm going to take you through how to set up your printer settings, or at least how I set up my printer settings. And my hope is that maybe even if you don't have the same printer as I do, that it'll help you troubleshoot maybe some of the things you're struggling with to get a really clear, opaque print on the water slide paper. I'm gonna show you how I seal them, and then I'm gonna show you how I put them on a tumbler with an amazing hack from my friend Courtney over at Courtney's Customs here on YouTube. Check out her channel, she's amazing. <laughs> But all of the items that I use are going to be linked in the description and I've even rounded up some coupon codes for you there too. So if you are here for a water slide tutorial, let's get into it. Alrighty, so here we are in Silhouette Studio and we're going to start by coming up here to this page setup icon and we're going to scroll down to the media size and we're going to switch it from the auto 12 by 12 down to the A4 setting because that's what size this Haipu water slide paper is. And I usually go down and turn on my show print border so I can make sure that my images are within the area of the print border so I don't wind up whacking off anything inadvertently and then I'm going to turn I'm going to flip these images so mirror them so I right click and hit flip horizontally and that just mirrors them around basically puts them backwards and I'll show you why here in a few minutes and then we're gonna come up here to file go down to print and again, every printer is a little bit different, so take that with a grain of salt here. And then we're gonna click on the preferences box because we're going to set up our own printer preferences. So we're gonna start with the document size. Instead of the typical eight and a half by 11, we're gonna switch it to the A4 because remember our water slide paper is A4. And then we're going to, for the paper type, I always put photo paper glossy. It just seems to work best on my printer. And then I switch my print quality from standard to high. And then mine defaults to color, so that's where I'm gonna leave that. But I'm gonna come up here to more options and I'm going to toggle off this high speed because I don't want it to just rush through and wind up leaving lines in my images or anything like that. So I press OK here and then we're going to apply all of those settings to this document and then we're gonna hit print. Let it go to the printer and then we're going to let that dry completely and I'm out in the shop again and I'm just using Rust-Oleum gloss spray paint and I go over it. You don't want to go over it with a whole bunch to where you're getting drips or anything like that but you go over it to where you get a fairly good coverage and then I just take my blow dryer because I'm super impatient. <laughs> and then like you see here, I go at different angles each time I do a coat of spray paint over this because I'm trying to make sure that I get every part of it and don't miss any areas because if you don't seal it, once you put this water slide in the water it's going to actually let your ink bleed so I seal mine four separate times and again just going sideways diagonal whatever different angles you can to be able to get every part of this water slide paper and then we take it inside I cut the images as close to possible as I absolutely can. I have tried the print and cut on my thing and I have tried the matte tape over the registration marks and for me it just hasn't worked so for most things I can kind of cheat and just cut by hand around the edges of it and I don't know why I keep like messing with it in the water really you don't have to just set it in there and leave it alone but this is what I do I don't know. 
And we're gonna put a little bit of water on the cup. And because we mirrored our image in Silhouette Studio, we don't have to flip it over and try to gently guide that water slide off the backing. We just set it down on the cup this way. And I use that backing to kind of squeegee out a little bit of the water. You wanna make sure that you have your image exactly where you want it if you're doing it like this. Um, because once you squeegee that water out, it's kind of a pain to try to move. But see how much easier? I don't know if you guys have watched any other water slide tutorials or anything like that, but it just is so stinking easy. You don't have to worry about gently guiding it off the paper. You don't have to worry about ripping it. You do still want to be careful because water slide is a little delicate, but it's so easy, you guys. I definitely would encourage you to try it this way. I learned this from Courtney Osborne over at Courtney's Customs here on YouTube. So big shout out to her. She makes life easy. <laughs> So I just go through and do the same thing for the back. Um, you don't want to leave your water slide paper in there too terribly long, but it only takes like maybe 10 seconds. This Haipu water slide was actually pretty impressive. It came off fairly quickly. That first one I had a little part that hung up, that's why it took so long, but this literally maybe five, 10 seconds and we were off to the races. So again, I just put it on there, kind of use the backing to slide it off and your water slide just stays put. And then with this one, I didn't use the backing as kind of a squeegee like I did the first side because I wanted to be able to make sure 100% that these were lined up with that this back one was lined up with the front one. Um, so I kind of look to make sure there's equal distance between that front label and the back label. And just like I did on the front, squeegee it. And you can see the bubbles underneath this water slide paper. So you wanna make sure that you get those bubbles out. They absolutely will be visible under your epoxy. And once you seal it, they will never dry seal it with the epoxy I mean they will never be able to dry so this is why we pay so much attention here to squeegeeing out the water and then I just gently dab the excess water off here off the edges kind of make sure one last look to make sure all of the sides and edges are all laid down flat and I did create this image off of a picture that the customer sent me and I'm not sure how to transfer SVG files, but I'm hoping to learn that here pretty soon so I can get it to you guys. So then we just take, I use gloss polycrylic to seal my water slides because we've used gloss on our cup. We've used gloss spray paint on the water slide to seal it. And so I use gloss polycrylic and I just kind of start at the top and put a dab of polycrylic on and kind of wipe it out with this same silicone brush. And I'll have a link to all of this in the description. But um, I do kind of take my time here in terms of making sure I've got it all. Like I go top to bottom, side to side, bottom to top, because I want to make sure that I've got polycrylic on every part of the sides of this image to make sure that it's 100% sealed down. Sometimes with like vinyl and water slide, anything that's got kind of a shiny or glossy finish, I have found that sometimes it can raise when you epoxy. I'm not entirely sure why, but sealing it helps. And some people will seal with like the same clear spray paint like Rust-Oleum Clear or whatever. I just, I really like this polycrylic because I have full control over where it goes and I know 100% that I've got um, every part of it. So then I will let this dry for 15 to 30 minutes um, and move on to the epoxy. If you want to know how I epoxy a cup, click on this video right here. And thank you guys so very much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe and like this video, and I will see you next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.